Mark identifications on the valve head, to differentiate the valves by type, that is, intake or exhaust and by cylinder number, before starting the detachment. Detachment of the intake and the exhaust valves, should be effected for all the valves at the same time, by means of the special detachment tool. Screw down the bolt on the valve spring special tool, deeper, to push the intake exhaust valve spring and take out the valve quarters. Open and remove the valve spindle, spring and rotor cap. Now immerse the head in water. Clean the head fully. Now we will do the dye penetrant test for any cracks. Now we will start the lapping procedure. Do markings on the seat and check for any unevenness.
Renew all the parts including springs and balls. Inspection or maintenance of the intake exhaust valves. Inspect the valves about the following items. Corrosion of the valve head. Corrosion and bend of the valve stem. Pitting on the valve face due to leaked gas. Contact of the valve face with the valve seat and of the stem with the valve guide. Crack on the valve face and the intake exhaust valve spring. Measure diameters of the intake exhaust valve stems and record the results. Replace the appropriate valve or valve seat. Replacement of valve guide. When wear of an intake exhaust valve guide is so much that the clearance increases or overhaul running hour has reached, valve guide has to be replaced. Insert the valve guide pushing out tool as shown in figure into the valve guide and push it out by knocking it with a hammer. Fit a new valve guide into the The nozzle holder has to take out when there is some visible damage to the seat or to replace the o-ring due to some leaks or after required running hours. Detach the snap ring, then push out the nozzle holder guide by hammering the pushing out tool. Install new O-ring. Fit back the nozzle holder guide back on engine. Read your engine manual for the correct procedure to fit it. Install snap ring on appropriate position. Replace the valve stem seal with a new one. Use the valve stem seal special tool. Install the valve rotator and valve springs, then compress the springs with the help of valve spring special tool. Install the intake exhaust valves from bottom and install the valve quarters. Once the valve quarters are in place, loosen and take out the compression tool.
Checking of the rotation of valve rotators. With a soft material check the movement of valve rotator. This is to ensure that it rotates for every push of rocker arm. Block all the outlets on the cylinder head with the help of wooden or Teflon plugs. Fill the cylinder head with fresh water and then connect a flange with a air connection and pressure gauge onto the jacket water inlet. Then apply air pressure and see whether the pressure drops or any visible water leaks. If the pressure holds for some time, let's say 15 minutes. Then we can proceed with the installation of head on the engine after draining the water. Install the flame ring, gasket and o-rings. Make certain that, no foreign particles are left inside the cylinder. Slowly lower the head, without giving any flaws to the threads of cylinder head bolts. Ensure that the head is properly seated, and the intake and exhaust sealing gaskets are properly inserted. Finally, clean the threads of head bolts and apply seizure preventive molecode spray and tighten the nuts to the prescribed pressure.